Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're also going to be talking about some of the other shows in regards to their finale, but mainly we're going to be talking about Melissa Benoist's directorial debut, which is episode 17, coming very soon. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So we're going to be breaking down the Supergirl Season 5 Episode 17 photos. This is the... Lex Luthor heavy episode directed by Melissa Benoist so I'm really excited we'll go over the photos that include Melissa later that's just sort of seeing her directing and everything like that but let's go over the actual photos for the episode so the first photo is of Lex Luthor he is in some sort of mansion I don't know I guess it's his place could be anyone's but anyway it's very fancy maybe it's something to do with Leviathan but he has got his hands in this position that we associate with evil gestures. So he's obviously up to something and he's scheming. There is also two plates of food, so you can infer that there's someone else in the room with him. Also, this episode is supposed to be an episode where we go back just after slash like before crisis or whenever the lex comes into power in this version of reality so i guess there's going to be quite a lot of flashbacks and maybe this is a flashback so moving on to the next photo the actual other person in the room is lena she sort of stares at him as she stands up and he sits down so there's also someone else in this scene and that is eve testmarker so she is making her return Eve has been away due to Andrea actually being on maternity leave and now she is back for this episode. She's wearing an apron so she's obviously cooked for Lex because you know in the comics and in the TV show she is basically Lex's assistant and presumably is in the past because Eve doesn't work for Lex anymore. So then we move on we've got Lex and Eve in the same photo they're talking together and then in the same place again very very fancy we have Lillian Luther who is returning. They're playing chess. This is obviously in relation to the Luthers. They have a thing for chess or the Supergirl people do have like an association with like playing games and board games with them because they're in control of everything. So Lex is leaning back on his chair. Then we move on and we go to the fortress and Jean, Alex and Brainy are standing together. They are discussing something. The screens are on in the background, I think there are maps, so they're probably trying to locate someone. I don't know who the villain is, but I'm presuming in present day it's still going to be Lex, like it is in the past, because we're going to be seeing past events. Then we go on to a different angle, we see Jean and Alex, just in the same place, then we see another photo of Jean, and another photo of Alex separately, and we get a big return, this is the return of Magan, aka Miss Martian. So she hasn't been around since I think the end of season 2 when she went back to Mars to help fight with the good white Martians I believe. As far as I can recall it's been a long time, it's been many years. And so it's very good to see her back, I was a big fan of her. And so in this photo she is obviously reuniting with Jean, they're very excited to see each other. Then we move on and we're outside the fortress. We haven't seen the outside of the fortress yet, I don't believe. And you've got the main three again and they're looking up into the air so something is happening in the sky. And Lena is here as she talks to Kara. This could be in the past but I'm presuming because in the next few episodes I believe they're supposed to make up and be friends again. This could be in the present but Lena looks at Kara then you go to the next photo, you see Kara looking back at Lena. And then just after this, we get to see a look at Lex and Lena in the present. This looks like they're actually at the DEO. They are exchanging some sort of device, it looks like. I think it's a watch. I could be wrong. But anyway, they're working together. And so then we get the wide angle of Lena and Kara talking in this office. And so presumably, this is like the first step. To them becoming friends again okay so the final thing in regards to episode 17 is these photos of melissa directing they're very exciting when i saw them i was super excited because you know we've all been anticipating this episode because it's the first time she's directed the show i think in tv it's really good when the actors who appear on the show weekly get behind the camera because on tv with their fast productions the directors they hire tend to be but not always like Arrow's James Bamford, he's an exception and there's Jesse Warren on Supergirl as well 
there are exceptions, but mostly they're just people that are hired to come in and direct the episodes, even though they don't know much about the story or anything like that. So it's always good when the actors get to take over, and especially the lead actors. Very exciting to see Melissa doing this. So the first photo, they're at Lex's place. And this was when Melissa was directing that scene we saw earlier with Lex. Then we go to, I think this is the fortress. Melissa's there, she's flicking through her notes, you know, directing the episode. And she is seen in this next photo in the fortress once again with David. And she's giving instructions to David as they talk. And again in the next photo in the fortress. Then back at the office we just talked about in that final photo. Melissa is seen looking at the monitor of presumably what they just shot. And then back at Lex's place with the chess, they're setting up the scene. And Melissa is there with John Cryer as she presumably explains what's going to happen. Then on to the final two photos. Melissa is again seen with John Cryer. And then the final one is just a cool photo of her directing the camera operator. Presumably. Okay, so now let's move on to the next thing that I wanted to talk about. And this is in regards to all the DC TV shows. So we have the official finale dates for the shows and their episode counts for the season. So coming in number one, we've got Sunday, May 17th at 7 p.m. And this is in Central Time, so 8, 7 Central. And this is Batwoman with their season finale. This is going to be Batwoman's episode 20. So unlike The Flash, who is cutting it down to 19 episodes, Batwoman is going to use 20 as their finale. It was originally set to be 22. But they obviously think that 20 suits better as a finale rather than episode 19. We'll talk about The Flash in a minute. We've talked about this a couple of times recently. But yeah, Batwoman is going to have 20 episodes. It's going to be ending on May 17th at 8, 7 central on The CW. Okay, so on a Sunday as well, on the very same day, May 17th at 9, 8 central, we have Supergirl's season finale. This is going to be episode 19. This is not going to be episode 20. Originally, it was set to be 22 as well, but then earlier this year, before all the shows had these delays and they didn't know if they could shoot these episodes or not, Supergirl cut it down to 20 due to Melissa's maternity leave. So they already planned on having the finale as 20, but instead it's going to be episode 19. But they shot most of episode 20. They had a few days left as far as what I was told and basically they have a lot of footage from their original finale which would have been 20 but now they're just going to be mixing that in to make a normal length episode like a 45 minute episode of Supergirl mixed with episode 19 and 20 to make this one big finale. Okay so now let's move on. So Monday, no DC TV shows, some other shows, and Tuesday has The Flash. This is going to be before Supergirl and Batwoman's finale. This is The Flash's finale on May the 12th at 8, 7 central is normal time slot, normal day. This is the season finale of The Flash. This is going to be episode 19, like Batwoman, apart from the fact that it's going to be 19 episodes, more like Supergirl. It shot episode 20 incomplete like Batwoman but the Flash showrunners came up with the idea to use episode 19 as the finale instead so that will be airing May 12th at 8 7 central. Okay so finally DC's Legends of Tomorrow this is going to be the latest finale for DC TV because they have quite a few episodes to get through I think they have like six more maybe and all the other shows are on like 17 16 as of right now and they're ending on 19 apart from Batwoman which is ending on 20 the Legends of Tomorrow, I think, is ending on 16, but their finale is going to be on June 2nd at 9, 8 central, so it's going to be a while until their finale, and it will be the last show standing for the rest of the season until we get Stargirl, which is coming, I believe, in the summer, like, very soon. People have been able to see the first few episodes already, so that will be on as well. Potentially, we'll cover that, as well as, you know, The Flash and Supergirl over the summer. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If this did help you out, and if you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.